Hey everyone, Josh here. Just doing a quick video on some budget head bolts for mildly tuned ALHs. As you can see, this one's got PD-150 piping, I think 17-22 turbo, and a cam of some sort. I'm not sure if it's a Colt cam or an SDI cam, but to hold everything in, I've got some grade 12.9 head bolts which uh, are a bit stronger than factory. So let's uh, go over some specs and then I'll do the install. So here's the two bolts. So this one here is factory or factory replacement. Usually they have a washer here, not just a flange head. And this is the upgraded one. So as you can see, a little bit longer. It's a bit of an odd size, the OEM one. If you want to do this yourself, what you need is 10 grade 12.9, 12 mil um, by 120 with a thread pitch of 1.75. So you need 10 of those and then thickest washers you can get. These are actually fairly thin and you can kind of see the washer bends a little bit, not terrible, but it cannot be any like wider than 20, um, 23 mil because it sits down, I get a good video of this or not. It sits down in a recessed hole, so if it gets too big, you won't be sitting in the casting there. So yeah, no bigger than 23 mil, which I think these are just a hair bigger, but they're pretty snug to fit in. So to do this, you're gonna need a 10 mil Allen, half inch drive, because you're torquing them pretty good. And to remove, you're gonna need 12 millimeter triple square to get the old factory ones out. So PD-150s use grade 12.9 stretch bolts, whereas these are 10.9s. The upgraded replacement ones are, as I just said, 12.9s and they're not stretch bolts. So the torquing is a bit of a interesting part. And I guess this would be a good spot for disclaimer that I'm not responsible if you take all the threads out of, the, out of your block or crack a head or anything like that. So this is do at your own risk. Yeah, so next we're gonna throw one in and torque it up. So when you're doing this, you're gonna wanna start from the center and then work your way out. Well, I can't really see the bolt holes there, but there's basically in each corner there, there's the head bolts. So the tricky part is the factory ones, the washers are stuck on, whereas these ones obviously aren't. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have it started in the hole and drop it down in. You don't wanna drop the washer down into that valley. Um, where's my socket gonna go? So OEM head bolts after the whole torque turn method, it's roughly around 110 foot pounds. Um, ARP head studs are usually around 125. So I split the difference kind of and did 120, but you have to use common sense. Um, if it doesn't feel like it's tightening up, then uh, you should maybe stop and make sure the bolt's not stretching or Torque wrench might not be 100%. This one's a snap-on, so it should be calibrated fairly accurately. So if you're using a dollar store torque wrench, maybe go under a bit. So let's set it to one. One, I won't zoom in there, 120. nice and slow
So that's that. So we just gotta do that nine more times and everything's bolted down good. Um, yeah, as long as you do one at a time, you shouldn't have to worry about the head gasket. I know a lot of people do studs and stuff that way, so this is no different. So yeah, torque it to 120 and you should be good. All right, thanks for watching.